Welcome to Rise Up Now Mobile. So in this video, we are going to be looking at logarithms involving the conversion between exponential and logarithmic form. By Metianata aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So do you struggle to convert between exponential and logarithmic form? Worry not, because in this video, I'm going to be showing you a method that you can use to nail it without getting it wrong, okay? So say, for example, you have something like this. Now, from our background knowledge from indices, we know that this 2 is a base raised to the power of 5, meaning this 5 is our exponent, okay? And this 2 is our base. Now, in logarithmic form, our base does not change, okay? Our base stays the same. So, if we are to change this into logarithmic form, number one, we write our word log, and then ask yourself, what is our base here? It's 2. So, we write the base as 2, okay? Now, after you write your base, write your equal sign, okay? Now, after you write your equal sign, notice that we already wrote our base as 2, so ignore the base for now. Now, if you ignore the base, you have a 5 on the left-hand side of the equation, and then you have a 32 on the right-hand side. So, what do you do to that 2? You swap them, meaning this 32, take it to the left-hand side of the equation. So, if you were to take the 32 on the left-hand side of the equation, it will be here. Now, if you have to take the 5 to the right-hand side of the equation, it will be there. And just like that, you have changed this exponential equation to logarithmic form. Okay? Let's look at another example. So, we have 3 raised to the power 4 equals to 81. So, what do we do? We do what we did here. Ask yourself, what is the base? Which one is the base? This 3 is the base. Okay? And the 4 is the exponent, which means... 3 raised to the power 4 is 81, okay? Now, when you are to write it in logarithmic form, you write your log, and then you ask yourself, what was the base? The base is 3. So, we write our base as 3. Now, what do we do next? Write your equal sign. Now, if you write your equal sign, this base is already written, so ignore it for now, and then you check. 4 is on the left-hand side of the equation. So, We'll swap it and take it to the right hand side while the 81 that is on the right we take it to the left So let's take our 81 to the left hand side of the equation Which is this side and the 4 to the right hand side, which is that side and just like that You have changed this exponential form into logarithmic form as well Now let's look at a third example How about when you have 9 raised to the power 1 equals to 9 again? Ask yourself, what is your base? Your base here is a 9, which is raised to the power 1, okay? Now, after you write your word, like the log word, you write your base, which is this 9, and then your equal sign. Now, after you write your equal sign, ignore this base, because you already wrote it here. Now, on your left-hand side of the equation, you have a 1, which you take to the right-hand side, and the 9, on the right hand side you take to the left okay so let's take the 9 first when you take it to the left hand side it will be here and then the 1 when you take it to the right hand side it will be there okay so basically this means like if we are to check through the logarithms we will go like to what number hmm, do you need to raise this 2 to get 32 you raise it to the 5th power for you to get 32, okay? Which is the same if you check here, it's like in exponential form, it's 2 raised to the power 5 equals to 32. So in logarithmic form, you can also just ask yourself, to what power do I need to raise this 2 to get 32? It's 5, okay? The same for the second one. To what power... Do you need to raise 3 to get 81 to the 4th power? 
Hence here it's 3 raised to the power 4. Okay? So with that said, let's look at another example whereby maybe they are swapped already like for some reason maybe instead of your 3 over 4 being on the left hand side, it's on the right hand side. So what do you do? It's the same concept. Start with your word, which is log. And then you ask yourself, what is the base? It's 3. So the base never changes. So we write our base down, okay? Now after you write your base down, you write your equal sign. Now remember here, your equal sign, your base is on the right. So not to get confused, just write the equal sign the same way it's here on the left. Write it on the left as well, okay? Now after you do that, remember you already wrote your base. So you ignore your base. Now if you look at the equal sign, on the right hand side you have a 4 and a 81 on the left. So swap the two. If you swap the two, the 81 that is on the left hand side will come on the right hand side of the equation. And the 4 that is on the right hand side of the equation will come on the left hand side of the equation. And just like that, you have changed this exponential form into logarithmic form. So let's take it vice versa from logarithmic form to exponential form. So let's just use the same examples. So you have the log logarithm of 32 to the base of 2. Okay? So, how do you convert this into exponential form? First of all, ask yourself, what is the base? When you look at this, what is the base? The base is this too. So write that base down. Okay? And then after you write the base down, you write your equal sign. Now remember, because you wrote already your base down, you ignore the space for now and focus on these two numbers. So you swap these two numbers just like we did before. So you take the 32 on the right hand side and the 5 on the left hand side. So this 32 is on the left, so we take it to the right, which is this side. Now the 5 is on the right hand side, so we take it to the left. Now notice that on the left hand side there is already a number, which is a 2 which is our base. So when we take the 5 to the left hand side, because there is already a 2, it becomes our exponent. Okay? And just like that you have solved or you have converted this logarithmic form into exponential form. Let's look at the second example. So here you have the log of 81 to the base 3. Okay? Now how do you change this? into exponential form. First of all, always check your base. What is your base? Your base is 3. So write down your 3. And then you write down your equal sign. After you write down your equal sign, ignore this base 3 because you already wrote it down. And then you swap the 2. So 81 was on the left hand side of the equation. So we write it on the right hand side. Now 4 was on the side of the equation. So we write it on the hand side, but because there is already a 3 there, which is our base, we write it as an exponent. Okay? Let's check out another example. How about when we have this example? What do we do? What is your base? Your base is 9. So you write your 9, and then you will write your equal sign. Now, because you already wrote your 9, you ignore it, which is the base. And then you focus on this 2. So you swap the 2. Meaning this 9 was on the left hand side. So you write it on the right hand side of the equation. While this one was on the right hand side. So we write it on the left hand side of the equation. But because there is already like a number there. We write it as the exponent. Okay? And just like that you have converted this into exponential form as well. Now, how about again, if you, for some reason, have a question that is turned around like this. Instead of this being on the left-hand side, it's on the right-hand side, and the 4 is on the left-hand side. 
It's the same concept. Just ask yourself, what is your base? Your base is a 3. So you write down that 3. Okay? Then you write your equal sign. Now if you write your equal sign, ignore the 3 because you already wrote it down as the base. So you have 81 on the right hand side and 4 on the left hand side. So you swap the 2. So 81 that was on the right will come to the left. Okay? And then the 4 that was on the left hand side of the equation will come to the right. But since on the right we already have a 3, it will become our exponent. And just like that, you have changed this into exponential form as well. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together we rise to our heights, apart we all stay behind. Cheers!